Here's another Big Brother exit interview for Big Brother 26. Welcome to the Royal Tea. Of course, you know me, I'm Big D. I have Hannah and then also Tiffany. She can't be here today, but she's usually here. But let me first by saying, I hope you're doing well, okay? I know it's a lot to take in. If there's any time that you need advice, you can always reach out to any of us. And please understand these questions are coming from us and also the fans, and we keep it real over here, okay? Got you. I got you. I appreciate the love, most definitely. Huh. Um, okay, so as Derek said, welcome to the Royal Tea, Cedric. Welcome to the Big Brother alum community. We're a very dysfunctionally functional family, but we're happy to have you. You definitely showed that you can play the game with such integrity and great character. And um, it makes me proud to be able to welcome you to the alum community. So just thank you for being here with us. Um, our first question is, um, who do you feel the most betrayed by? You were obviously very well protected in that house. You should have had the numbers. Who do you feel like was your downfall? Let the fans know. I think uh, Chemo was my downfall. Mm -hmm. He kind of campaigned really hard for me to go. t Core didn't want me to go. Chemo kind of convinced her. And then in turn, like Joseph, Joseph crumbled and uh, they couldn't handle the pressure of keeping me. So. Mm -hmm. okay. But Chemo, so Chemo got me. Do you respect that or are you like, dude, this is this is a bad decision for your game? How do you feel like that'll play out for him? Uh, both of them. I respect it a lot. I respect that, you know, that's the move he felt he had to make. And he thought that, you know, the time was right for him to take down the Pentagon, which, you know, mm -hmm. I respect. Um, I also think it was a bad game move and I might be biased, you know, because, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but um, with him taking me, me out, it burns his bridges with the rest of the collective and forces him to work with Tucker and Rabina, who mm -hmm. they're on the bottom of their alliance as well. So they just mm -hmm. blew up the Pentagon to be at the bottom of people who they don't really enjoy like that. Mm, okay. There's that phrase again. They blew up the Pentagon. <laughs> I know. That's right. crazy. That <laughs> crazy. Um, um, here's my other question I have question? for you. Because, you know, you know, I'm going to get always to the hit of mm -hmm. it, okay? Do you regret it. not going forward with Tucker with the plan of taking out Quinn mm -hmm. when you could have? So I don't. The, the issue of why I didn't put Quinn up is because I didn't have a chance to talk with the other members of the Pentagon first. And if I would have put him up back door to the Pentagon, I would have lost all of their trust. I would have lost the trust of the collective and been in kind of the similar situation that T-Core and Kimora in now where I'm forced to work with Tucker and he sees me as an ally for the week instead of an ally for the game. Mm -hmm. I, the reason why I say that, you did have majority, if, you, if I'm correct, and please tell me if I'm incorrect, you mm -hmm. did have Cam, you did have Joseph, and I feel like there was one more person in that room when you guys were coming up with that plan. So did you not mm -hmm. still feel comfortable by having some of the members of the Pentagon and some of the members of the collective in that HOH room with Tucker when you guys talked about that plan originally? Because I know, of course, you called them out. Mm -hmm. We saw, obviously, you did tell them you didn't have the numbers, but beforehand, did you not right. feel comfortable? Because they were there. Um, Joseph, I don't think was in there. So I think when Tucker threw the plan, it was just Kenny, Cam, uh, Kenny, Cam, Tucker, and myself. Okay. So the yes, four that is of correct. us is when they came up with the plan. And uh, I, I wouldn't have had the opportunity to inform everybody in the alliances. So someone would have been shocked, especially because I'm like, you you are the final five. This is who I'm rocking with. And then I throw mm -hmm. someone under the bus. Like, it would have just backfired in turn. And Quinn had the deep fake HOH power. So if he was able to stay and we didn't yeah. send him home, it was going to be three members on the – three. the three Pentagon members were going to get blown up. And then it was going to be all three of us on the block. So mm. it just that's wasn't hard... smart. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, You're good. That's the, that's the difficult thing about these powers because you don't know exactly what they are and how they're going to play out. And you don't know if someone's lying about what it is that they can do. So I completely understand. It was almost like fear of the unknown. You didn't feel like everyone was looped into that decision. So you couldn't in good faith move forward with that. I get it. Um, our very last question before we have to say bye to you, unfortunately, Cedric, is who do you feel like is the dark horse this season? This is something that we have asked every single previously mm. evicted house guest, Matt, Lisa, Sweet Kenny K. Who do you yeah. think is one to watch? Who do you think is going to emerge victorious and end up just taking the taking the whole game? Uh, I think Chelsea is probably the strongest player in the house right now. Yeah. Um, 
to caveat, if not Chelsea, you know, I, I'd love any of the other Pentagon members to win, but Joseph is in a really good spot as well. Big D, have I not been saying that? Chelsea and Joseph. Okay. So we're on the same I'm page. I'm cool with Chelsea, but Joseph, uh, it's time. He's, he's growing <laughs> yeah. on me. The, the stash is growing on me for sure. <laughs> Um, Cedric, thank you so much for being here with us. Again, mm -hmm. you were just such a stand-up um, player, such a stand-up character. Very sad to see you evicted. This was honestly the first eviction that I think made the cookout sad since like Izzy went last year. So uh -huh. that's saying something. We were all rooting for you and um, we hope to meet you soon. Of course. And thank Cedric, you. I would again. love to meet y'all. Yes. And okay. once again, if there's anything you need, let us know. Do you have any last minute thoughts before we let you go? Anything mm -hmm. you want to say? Uh, just that I love y'all. Y'all were like kind of the alliance that I tried to find. Like I was like, oh, the collective could be the next cookout. We could just make it. And, you know, it didn't work. But I love all of y'all. <laughs> Thank okay. you. And you have You're a big an honorary fan member. Base. Yes, and you yes. have a big fan base, so yes. please shout out to your fans. You have one stand account that yes. loves you to death, so please yes. make sure you look out for him, okay? Because he's waiting for you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Love the fans. Love all y'all. Thank you. Bye, Cedric. Bye. Bye. It was a pleasure. Thank you so Thank much. You. Bye.